Uh, the first drink we're going to make is a very old classic, especially classic British drink called pink gin. And this originally dates back, we don't know exactly when, um, but Angostura Bitters was created in Venezuela uh, in 1824. And it was created by Dr. Seagut for stomach complaints, tropical stomach complaints. And because it was good for stomach complaints, it was also very good for seasickness. And so British sailors got hold of Angostura Bitters and started mixing it with their gin and some water on board ship. And this drink, because of the color of Angostura, got known as pink gin. So take the mixing jug and fill it with ice. Then I'm gonna add a few dashes of Angostura. And then I'm just gonna give a bit of a stir down because what I don't wanna do is have too much Angostura bitters in the final drink. If you've ever heard of the pink gin, you may have heard of in or out. Now this again goes back to how the drink was served on board ship. So if you're a sailor, you, uh, you had your tankard, you'd add some Angostura, you'd swirl it around and you'd tap out the excess to your mate who would do the same and on it would go. So you'd only have a very small amount of Angostura bitters in the drink. If you were an officer, however, you had access to as much Angostura as you liked, so you could keep it all in. So how that kind of progressed through history was depending on how much Angostura you want in the drink, you either have the drink in or out. Now Plymouth is a citrusy and a very soft style gin. So for me, if I'm recommending it, what I want to do is get the flavor of the Angostura in there, but not have too much. So by stirring it down with the ice here, I'm getting a coating of the Angostura in the glass and the ice, and then I'm going to throw it away so we don't have too much Angostura left in the final drink. So here, I'm just left with a light coating of Angostura. Now I'm going to add Plymouth gin. and we're gonna stir. Now, traditionally this drink would have been Angostura bitters, Plymouth gin and water. But rather than adding the water, I'm gonna add dilution and chill the drink down by stirring it in the same way you'd see a martini being stirred. So the water in any cocktail is incredibly important. It's as important as any other ingredient in your cocktail. The water is what unlocks the flavors that are carried and contained within the alcohol. So this is vital. And what I'm looking for is, as the water is added to the gin by stirring, it's gonna release those aromas and I'm gonna smell the gin opening up and I'm gonna know when the gin is ready to be served. You can already see as well, just this delicate pink color of our pink gin. And we're gonna finish it traditionally just with a little twist of lemon. And all this is is just expelling the essential oils from the peel of the lemon over the surface of the drink. Just bringing a light, fresh Christmas to the drink. And there you have it, the classic pink gin.